Hey everybody, welcome back to Patriot Armory and Coatings. We've got a project today to show you that, you know, not only was a really cool looking project, but it was a lot of fun for us to do. And a lot of times we do things that look really unique and look really uh, cool, for lack of a better word. A lot of times we do things we really enjoy doing. And sometimes the two of those just come together and, and we just, we put together something that not only you know makes the customer happy because it looks really cool but we just really have a great time and love doing it and and today's project is something that the two of those just came together beautifully and we're going to show you that today based on some other videos a customer had wondered what we could do with his um, knife works special edition benchmade 810 and I have this one here because this is from my personal collection. Knifeworks is an online retailer. They also have a you know a brick and mortar store, but they um, work with Benchmade, and they have some Knifeworks kind of special edition or Knifeworks uh, exclusive versions of different Benchmade knives. Um, they they do that with a couple different knife companies, and the 810 is normally kind of a hard use you know military type knife. But one of the things that Knifeworks does with Benchmade is they uh, put out um, kind of a, a fancier, fancy schmancy version of the 810 with a higher grade steel and, and fancier scales. This was the kind of older version of what's in here. You can see they've got the blue and black layer G10. I really like this one. Um, the original 810 has a high carbon steel blade that comes in M4 so it needs to be coated um, all the time um, but this is an M390 blade so they can give you a really beautiful satin finish on it because of the the changes you know it doesn't come with a glass breaker they don't consider it a hard use knife anymore for some reason but um, it's more of a showy knife than the original 810 and it's really beautiful the newer version is really the same except they changed the scale color to the Knifeworks kind of uh, standard gray and black but other than that it's M390 steel it's it's all the same um, but this customer decided that the standard gray and black with the satin blade was a little bit boring for him and he wanted to know what we could do that was going to be a little bit different. You can see it right there. And, and that's all he said. He said it's boring. He wants something different and unique. And working with just some ideas he threw us and the, you know, kind of our own creative juices flowing, uh, we came up with an idea. And keeping in mind that this is very similar, this is exactly what the blade looked like when we started. And I still have to laser on some logos to make it look Benjamin ish. But. This is what we had to. This is what we came up with um, all together. So you can see before I even open the knife, and yes, the clip's on the right side. He sent it to us left-handed, so we put it on that way. But we came up with a scallop motif uh, for the swedge and the upper edge for when it's closed. Sort of match that design on the scale, and kind of a freeform urban camo in. Uh, three color Cerakote on the blade. The edge was all masked off, so that's still the original edge. Now, the owner is very, very happy with this design. We're very happy with that design. Um, it definitely is not boring anymore. And it really reminds me of that kind of zebra flage or the dazzle camouflage that they used to put on uh, ships in World War II. I really really like it and the owner really likes it too um, of course it's hard for me to do it like this because normally when I flip close the bench man I'm using the clip for leverage there but um, everything is still nice and perfect we also did uh, a nice cobalt circo cobalt on all the hardware you can see in the axis and all the screws and what was important to him was to be able to use this as, you know, a, a hard use knife again. So I had to scrounge the correct backspacer with the glass breaker on there. So we did that for him as well. Um, I think this came out really, really nicely. 
from that to that. The three colors we used here are Battleship Gray, Armor Black, and Hidden White. So what I have to do now is take it to the laser, put the logos back on. The logos on the back side there. Um, and this is going to be ready to send out to the owner. What do you guys think? I think it's a bit busy, but at the same time, that was the whole point of that dazzle camouflage scheme on the ships in World War II. It was to be so busy that submarine captains looking at it had no idea which end was up and which way, whether it was coming or going. And it really screwed up their uh, firing solutions for their torpedoes. Um, it really made it hard for them to get an accurate gauge of where the shot was going. I, I like this a lot. And, the, you know, the important thing, like I said, the important thing at the end of the day is does the, does the customer like it? And the customer really, really likes it. So, does not look boring anymore. If you have any ideas for anything you'd like done, just drop us a line. You can visit the uh, shop's website right here. Hope you enjoyed this one. Hope you were as excited about it and thought it was as cool as we did and the owner does. Thanks for watching, guys, and we'll see you again real soon.